Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. We're back here in our paladin. I'm very thankful to be still sitting in my paladin because it actually came close to getting destroyed before. Uh, we encountered a Kronos before, a smug Kronos, an actual player who was in a Kronos. And I decided to stupidly engage him at point blank. Not the smartest idea, not the smartest idea because his, uh, his uh, blasters are perfectly equipped to do max damage at short range. They do unusually high amounts of damage. But the downside to his weapons is that they have really short range. And I've got pulse lasers that do a bit less damage but have more range. But I decided to you know, just engage him really close, giving him the upper hand. But we managed to survive. And in fact, we've got such a powerful fit right here <laughs> with Centum A-type multi-spectrums that we were actually able to combat him and cause him to flee. So I was happy about that. We actually managed to get through that in one piece i was a bit surprised because it felt at one point that we we're going to die but we managed to get out of it and we were also using a pve ship as well so uh we're going to continue here farming trigger means is a system of serious session uh, i've got now my pulse layers aligned as you can see they were not aligned before now they're aligned so i probably should save the fit like this actually if we go here in the extreme close pally this this and then put this over here there we go so now it looks a bit better when we fitted the ship's uh, guns right here and previously we destroyed the wormhole i think there are some initial fleets that need to be taken out because these kind of little fleets need to be taken out the like uh, initially in the system to get the big respawning ones or it could be that they have already spawned in because sometimes people i could be here and they could be here busy and you know already taking care of those initial fleets we'll see so let's go to the planets over here. Angle in on them. There seems to be one over here. No? Okay. What about in four, five, eight? And there's one at eight. Let's go to eight. Do we have the mobile tractor unit? Yes. Good, good, good. Can we buy actually some boosters? Because previously I wanted to have some boosters. I didn't have any uh, close by. Synth drop. They could be good to have in case we need some extra application. It's in exile. These can be good as well. Let's see. Anything here? No, there's nothing. There's nothing here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Where are they? Here. 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 There we go. We've got it at number one. Or oh, they could be at the sun. Because that one planet over there is basically at the sun. So we'll see probably put optimal range or maybe we could put tracking speed just to take out any small little frigates that are really close in the warp in we will see we can align to the sun okay they seem to be at the sun not at zero session one hmm. right, let's go to the sun i always uh I find it a bit amusing how we're just able to warp directly into the sun. <laughs> well, we're not really in the sun, we're at very close proximity to the sun. Our ships are very durable at EVE Online. Heat shields. Okay. Now will we find them? Yeah, there's a pretty solid amount of ships here as well. So I think that will be a good one if it can respawn. If it can't respawn, then maybe it won't be so nice. Okay. So there's a decent amount here we'll see if they're sleeping my guess is that they are sleeping it looks like a sleeping fleet uh, let's deploy the mtu mm -hmm. take out the ghost over here with bastion active yeah they seem to be sleeping lock up the mtu destroyed straight away i want to just take out that ghost because he can be very annoying Go for these Leshaks. And just take them out before they even get uh, far away. <laughs> Great. We can lock these guys up too. These wrecks. Could salvage them on the go. Okay, now we're getting some aggro. We can maybe go for one of these guys. Yeah, there we go. Occasionally they'll have some aggro, but it's nothing like the respawning fleets that we usually see. It has occasionally happened that we've started off with a sleeping fleet and then they have actually uh, 
starts to become a respawning fleet, like a big one. But it's quite rare. I've not encountered that too many times. And we can salvage over there. Like we get this occasional uh, like aggro, but it's nothing uh, really significant. Twenty-seven optimal. Perfect range for us. We just salvage them on the go. That's great. A quick fleet exterminated right there without any issues when they sleep. <laughs> okay, let's grab the salvages right here. Need a salvager. Salvage drone. Salvage the Kikimura. Great. Because we can't use these salvage drones mid combat. They're just going to get annihilated. They have low HP and they have a high tendency to get uh, attacked as well. Unlike normal combat drones for some reason. The Triglavians just really don't like it when you salvage their dead comrades. <laughs> okay, let's see where they are. Now these are 100%. Uh, the uh, initial fleets that we're encountering right here could be that they're the true lava in wormhole. They haven't, uh, they can sometimes occasionally spawn at the wormhole again, like respawn. Could check it out. Grab that cache over there. That container. We'll see. Warp to the wormhole. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Because we can't see it on the scan right here we're gonna have to sort of track them down 180 seems to do a bit of the trick to find them okay but they're somewhere here how far are they away they're quite close 3 AU 3.4 7 AU okay 3.7 they're exactly 3.7 AU away what is 3.7 AU there's this planet right here they don't seem to be there. Anything else? Maybe an asteroid belt? No. Hmm, what could they be at? Abandoned mining colony? Hmm. Mysterious Trilavians hiding. 3.7 away. Somewhere here. It was almost like that the asteroid belt over there. Is there anything else that's 3.7 away? Because this is the only thing that is just at that range. And it's somewhat in this direction. Could it perhaps mean that there's another true love in wormhole? There's a possibility that that could be the case. Unlikely, but possible. Now they've disappeared. No, now they're here. Okay. I don't understand this. Where are they? Those little buggers hiding. We are. Which signature are we at right here? We can check in the restock station to use our Dremion. And we can go scanning for a bit. See if we can find a secondary wormhole. That could be a possibility. Unlikely, but possible. We can also see which signature is over here. Probably that's the signature over here, MDS. I seem to have been kicked out of the game right now. I'm not sure why. It could be the server. It could be my internet is a bit unstable. Let's grab my Dramule right here. See if we can scan the signatures. This is really strange. We've got so few and we can't even find them. Like I can understand that we've got a bit of a downtime of Triglavians because this happens, sometimes happens and you've taken out these initial fleets and then they get these big respawning fleets in later. But here... We're not even able to find them at all. They're not like, I don't know if they're in dead space or something. Okay, let's lock up these guys. Okay, we've got the... I think this is the original trick lab in wormhole, so we do not need to scan that down. MDS. But this other one right here, I'm not sure if this could be one as well. If you guys know why we're seeing these kind of trick lavins like this in the D-scan, let me know, because I'm quite curious to know how, well, why. This is very strange how we're just seeing them randomly like this. Like my guess is that they could be at some structure because they sometimes not all like engineering complexes and citadels you see them on the on the uh, like overview but you can sometimes see them on the d scan so it could be that they're at some engineering complex that is not shown on the map we can check this out right here if we look on the on the d scan 
it was over here, I think they had it. Let's see, now we've got a wormhole here. This is a class 3 wormhole. Okay, that's not going to be a trigger alarming wormhole. I, think. I know that you have to at least have class 2, or level 2. But maybe it could be level 3 as well. Okay, so they're not here at this wormhole at least. This is probably just a random wormhole. Wormhole M55. This is into dangerous regions of space. Unusual to find these kinds of wormholes in high sec. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is really strange. If you guys know why this is the case, let me know down below. But I think we're going to have to call it a break here because it seems like they're really just hiding from us. These triglavins are very, very strange. Could the triglavins be glitched? Or maybe they're just hiding in deep space because they're worried from the... They're worried about uh, the massive uh, extreme paladin we've got going around hunting for them. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so I think that's enough tree larvae hunting for now. Really smoothly, like usual, with the paladin. Just goes around and blasts them. Takes the care of them in just, uh, just a couple of minutes. A very, very fast ship. Feels like this, actually, I almost prefer this more than the golem, to be honest. Because it just does instantaneous damage with his pulse lasers. You see, hopefully, and it just goes down within seconds. If you guys have got any opinions on this kind of fit for trigger and hunting, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there could be some certain waves which are not so good fit. I do have tracking issues occasionally. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.